Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problem out of this book here, the T's official study manual 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today, We'll continue the topic that we have been at, we've been at for the last three days, having to do with rounding and estimation. Yesterday we did the three practice problems that you will find, four practice problems rather, on page number 164. Yesterday we did problem number one, three, four, and five. We did four of those and we skipped problem number two. Problem number two is what we're going to do today. Just one problem, it has several parts to it. Practice problem number two on page 164. Please turn to it. Always make sure the book is in front of you. So here we are told that here is the quantity. Here is what we are given. 34.19 and we are being asked to round, round it to we are being asked to round it to the nearest tenth. Nearest tenth digit. You understand? With the th. Nearest tenth digit. And if you have watched the video that we did a couple of days ago, and I hope that you did watch it, it's important that you watch them in sequence, because I assume that uh, you know the stuff that we already learned. Obviously we cannot keep repeating the same thing over and over again. So two days ago, when we began this topic, we talked about the fact that when we are around, when we are being asked to round a, f around a given figure, to a particular digit, in this case the tenth digit. The tenth, the tenth digit is this one right here. This is the tenth digit. This is the tenth digit. So which means we have to look at the one that comes after it. What what comes after it is a nine. A nine. Is it five or more? The answer is yes. It is five or more. Since this is five or more, the tenth digit is going to be rounded up, and it will become thirty-four point one nine rounded to the nearest tenth digit becomes 34.2. That's it. Let's do the next one. 6 7 rounded to the nearest ones. Nearest ones with an with a S at the end, plural. Ones digit or sometimes it is called unit digit. Same thing. Again we did this before since this is a fraction 6 7 we go from we, we go all the way from the zero seventh, which is a zero, to seven seven, which is the one, and six seven, as you can clearly see, comes all the way here. It is closer to one. There you go. Six seven, when rounded to nearest ones, becomes one. Let's do the next one. Next one we have is seven point two one nine. 7.219 and we are being asked to round it to nearest hundredth. Hundredth. Nearest hundredth digits. It says round it to nearest hundredth digit. Again, first thing we need to do is locate the hundredth digit. This is the decimal right here, this is the tenth digit, this is the hundredth digit right here. And now what we are interested in looking at one digit after that, if it is five or more, if this thing is five or more, this can be rounded up. There you go. So 7.219 when rounded to nearest one hundredths becomes 7.22. 7.22. Let's do the next one. It says nine, 933.74 rounded to nearest thousands. Nearest thousands. Let's take a look at it, shall we? So now, we have to look at the thousands digits, which is right here. 
which is right here. It has a big fat zero in it. The, the thousand digit has zero in it. Why? Because 993, rather 933, 933 has three ones, which is why it's called ones digit. It has three tenths, which is why it's called tenths digit. It has nine hundreds, which is why it's called hundreds. And it has zero thousands. It has zero thousand. That's the thousands. That's the thousand digit. And we're being asked to round this thing to the nearest thousands, which is this guy right here. So we just have to look one unit to the one unit to the right. And if that happens to be five or more, we're going to round it up. If it's less than five, if it's less than five, we're going to round it down. So there we go. Since nine happens to be more than five, when you round the 933.74 to the nearest thousand. It becomes 1000, which makes perfect sense because here you have your 0000 and all the way here you have your 1000. Question is, where does 933 fall? 933 falls all the way here. The halfway mark is 500. 933 falls all the way here, which is closer to 1000. Had it been, had it been, instead of 933, had it been 530, 533 still would you round it up because it's more than 500. Instead of 933, had it been 433, 433 rounded to nearest thousands would have become zero. Let's do the next one. 2.739 rounded to nearest hundredth. hundreds. With a th hundreds, nearest hundred. Two point seven three. So let's look at let's look at the hundred digits first. There is the decimal. This is the tenth digit. This is the hundredth digit. So we ask ourselves, what happens? We ask ourselves, what do we find? One unit to the right of it. Is it 5 or more? The answer is yes, it is 5 or more. So we round it up. It becomes 2.74. 2.74. 3 was rounded to 4 because it's more than 5. Let's do the next one. 32.834. This is rounded to tenths nearest tenth. What is the what is the tenth digit? There is our decimal and this is our tenth digit right here. So we look at this guy. One just one digit to the right. Is it five or more? The answer is not no it's not five or more. Since not since it's not five or more we just ignore it. Everything drops out now. It's just gonna become 32.8. That's it. That's what it is. Let's do the next one. 37 point, let's do, let's do the next one on the top. 37.494, rounded to nearest tens digit. Well, so now we're counting by tens, and tens digit is right here. This is the tens digit. It tells us how many tens it has. 37 has three tens and seven ones. 37 is made up of three tens and seven ones, which is why it's called the tens digit. And we look at one unit, one digit up to the right to it. If it's five or more, we round it up. And 37, seven is indeed more than five, so it's going to be rounded up to 40. In other words, when you're rounding it to nearest tens, we're counting by ten. We're counting by ten, which means we put thirty here and we put forty here. Thirty-five is the mid midway mark. And we ask ourselves, where does thirty-seven fall? Thirty-seven falls here. Thirty-seven is closer to forty than it used to thirty. 
therefore it's rounded to 40. Let's do the next one. Next one says 23, 23 over 50 rounded to nearest ones. Nearest ones. So now we're counting by one. In other words, we're starting we're starting at zero and ending at one. Except one is not written as one. One is written as 50 over 50. Half a mark will be 25 over 50. So if something is 25 over 50 or more, we'll round it to 1. If it's less than that, we round it to 0. 23 falls here, to the, to the left of it. In other words, 23 over 50 is less than half. Since it's less than half, we round it to 0. 23 over 50, when rounded to nearest tens, or rather nearest ones, becomes 0. Let's do the next one. Next one says 7 and 4 quarters. 7 and 4 quarters. Well, 7 and 4 quarters, first thing you need to do is write it properly, which is 8 and 1 third. Not 7 and 4 quarters, rather 4 thirds. It's 7. 4 quarters would have been silly. 4 quarters is 1. That's not what I meant to say. Not 4 quarters. 4 quarters is 1. 7 and 4 thirds. 7 and 4 thirds is the same as 8 and 1 third. Because 4 thirds is made up of 3 thirds and 1 third. So now the question is, when we round the 8 and 1 third to what, what digit? To 1's. When we round the 8 and 1 thirds to 1's, closest 1, what does it become? Well, let's take a look at it. We're rounding it to the nearest 1's. So here's our 8, here's our 9, and we're counting by the third. Here's 1 third. There's two thirds. Of course, one third is closer to this is eight and one third, eight and two thirds, and nine, which is same as eight and three thirds. Eight and one third is closer to eight. So when you round this thing to nearest unit digit, nearest one digit, it becomes eight. Next one. Sixty-four. 0.736 rounded to nearest tenth. Nearest tenth digits. Let's, let's look at the tenth digit first. Before we do anything at all, let's look at it, makes it easier. This is the decimal here. This is the tenth digit. So we only have to look at this guy. Is it more than? Is it five or more? No, it's not more than. It's not five or more, which means we're just going to ignore it. It's just going to become sixty-four point seven because it's not five or more. We don't have to look at the entire thing. We just have to look at this digit, just one digit to the right of it. Let's do the next one. Five hundred and forty-seven. Five hundred and forty-seven rounded to nearest tens. Well, 547 rounded to nearest tens. Ten digits right here. This is this is this is what the ten digit is. This is a unit digit. So we look at this one. Is it five or more? The answer is yes. It is five or more. Since it's five or more, it becomes 550. Or if you if you don't want to be so technical, think of it. We are rounding at the nearest tens, which means which means we start at 540. And we go all the way up to 550, and we ask ourselves, where does 547 fall? 547 is going to fall closer to here. 547 is closer to 550 than it is to 540. So we round it up. Let's do the next one. 800. 878. We are being asked to round it to nearest hundreds. Nearest hundreds. Let's see where is the hundred digits. Hundred digits is right here. Hundred digits is right here because it tells us how many hundreds it has, which is probably why it's called eight hundreds. And now we look at one 
one digit to the right of it. Is it five or more? Yes, the answer is it is five or more. So the eight will become nine. Again, the, again the same exact idea. Same exact idea that we did just a second ago when we were dealing with 547. Same exact idea, except the difference is now we are not looking at tens digit. We're looking at hundreds digit, but the same exact idea. So we can count by hundred. We can count by hundred because we're looking at hundreds digit. We start at 800 and we stop at 900. Then we ask ourselves, where does 800, 878 fall? 870, this, this is 850 right here. That's good. See, 8, 878 is going to fall somewhere here to the, to, the, to the right of the halfway mark. 878 is closer to 900 than it is to 800. So we round it to 900 because it's closer to 900. Let's do one more. Eighty-seven point eighty-seven point three five seven to the nearest hundreds. Hundreds. Where is the hundredth digit? Not hundred digit. What is the hundred digit in this quantity? 87.357 hundreds digit, hundreds digit is zero. There are no hundreds here. We're looking for, we're looking for hundreds digit. There's the decimal, that's the tenth digit, this is the hundredth digit. We go one digit to the right. We go one digit to the right and we ask ourselves, is it five or more? The answer, yes it is five or more. So this 5 will become 6. That's all. 87.36. 87.357, when rounded to nearest hundredths, becomes 87.36. Let's do the next one. 32.95. 9, round it to nearest tenths, nearest tenths digit. Well, let's first look at the tenths digit before we worry about rounding it. This is the decimal, this is the decimal, this is the tenths digit. So we look at one digit to the right of it. Is it five or more? Is it five or more? The answer is yes it is five or more. So watch what happens here. Since it is five or more, this nine, since it is five or more, this five will drop out and this nine will become a ten. But when it becomes a ten, you don't write here as a ten obviously. So this one that you see there joins this guy. And when 32.95 is rounded to the nearest tenth, it becomes 33. And that's all. Again, if, if it helps you, you can visualize it on a scale, on a scale, except now we are measuring in tenths. So we start at 32 and we end up at 33. Think of 33 as 32, think of 33 as 32 and 10 tenths. Here we have one tenth, here we have two tenths, so on and so forth. Here we are looking at nine tenths which is way over here, 32 and 9 tenth. Of course 32, 32.9, which is 32 and 9 tenth, of course 32 and 9 tenth is, is much closer to 33 than it is to 32, because 32 is simply 32 and 0 tenth, and 32 and 1 tenth, and 32 and 2 tenth, and so on and so forth. Let's do one more. 483.34 to the nearest hundreds. Nearest hundreds. Let's first look at the hundreds digits. 483 is probably called 483 because it has four hundreds. That's probably why it's called 483. 
Here's the hundreds digits. That tells us how many hundreds we have. We go one unit to the right, ask ourselves, is this guy five or more? Yes, it is five or more. When you're asking is it five or more, what you're asking is that, is it, when, you, when you're rounding something to the nearest hundreds, something that has four hundreds in it, what we're asking is, is it 450 or more? If it's 450 or more, it's going to be 500. If it's less than 450, it's going to remain 400. That's what it is. Yes, 483 is much closer to 500 than it is to 400. 483.34, when rounded to nearest hundreds, hundreds becomes 500. And that was the very last problem on that, on, in, that, in that group, and that's the end of it. That also happens to be the official end of that chapter. Tomorrow we'll begin the next chapter, and we'll just carry on with our journey. If you wish to get hold of me, you can always get hold of me by sending me an email at kashwaniprep at icloud.com. Kashwaniprep at icloud.com in the event that you need some help and that you, that you would like to work with me, uh, if you'd like to hire me as your tutor. To, to get better prepared for the exam. Bye now.